Everyone. So today, I'm preaching the gospel in the city. So I want to pray for everybody right now. I will sign in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for everybody right now. Especially the people are walking here. And the people are hearing this word of God. I pray for them. Thank you, God. When I'm sharing this gospel, thank you for your touching. The people, those who are walking here. And giving the anointing and power to each and every people. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Come here. Before I start to preach this gospel, I want to sing one song right now. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Oh, my God, and your feet is holy name. Sing like me, baby, for oh, my soul, and worship your holy name. Come on, go for that. Come on. Most welcome. Come on, take a look. You're reaching love. And your flesh is Your name is great And your heart is kind For all your goodness I will keep on singing Ten thousand reasons for my heart to find Bless the Lord my soul Oh, my soul, and worship His holy name. Sing like me ever before. Oh, my soul, and worship Your holy name. And worship Your holy name. Lord, I worship your holy name. Hold on. Hold on. The people that are walking here, today I am preaching the gospel. The gospel is Jesus Christ is alive. What's the gospel? Come on. Don't lose it, okay, please, much welcome. I am preaching this gospel not only for one person, but to each and every people, those who are working in the city and those who are living in this world. Praise the Lord. I will let you read Gospel John chapter 70. When Jesus spoke the words, this words, lifted us, lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your son that your son also may glorify you. As you have given him authority over all flesh, that he should give eternal life as many as you have given him. And this is eternal life, that they may know you, the only true God and Jesus Christ, whom you have said. When we read the Bible, 
in all the books the new testament as well as in the old testament bible says only one thing that is eternal life our god can get to each and every bit Praise the Lord. Jesus Christ is the only one Savior. Manifested in this world. Not only for one person. But to all the eight billion people are living in this world. Come on, take it. Jesus Christ died for everybody. Those who are living in this world. According to the Bible, Jesus Christ is the Savior. What is the duty of the Savior? A savior can able to save your life. So all the people are walking here. I pray to the savior of God who manifested in this world 2024 years before at the cross of Calvary. I am preaching this God to each and every people. Through this God, all the people are getting everlasting life. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So everybody, Go from John chapter 17, Bible says, What is eternal life? Verses 2, Bible says, As you have given him authority over all flesh. We all are created through Jesus Christ in this world. Everybody is most welcome, okay? Preaching gospel, true gospel. I'm calling you. Come on, I'm calling you. 
I can promise you, what the three Bible says, this is eternal life that you may know you. You may know that Jesus Christ is the Lord and Savior. This is what I got the Bible, eternal life. Come on. Praise the Lord. The only true God and Jesus Christ whom you have said. Again, God is saying, I have glorified you on the earth. Jesus Christ was talking to the heavenly Father. I have glorified you on earth. I have finished the work which you have given to me to do. And now, O oh Father, glorify me together with yourself, with the glory which I had with you before the world war. This is a mystery. Gospel John chapter 17. It is written by God itself. I clearly say why the word reason Jesus Christ was manifested in this world. Gospel John chapter 17, Jesus Christ was saying, I have finished the work which my father has given to me. What is the work? The work of Jesus Christ was to preach the gospel to each and every day. To spread the salvation to each and every people. In the gospel, our God is granting not only the eternal life, but our God is giving the forgiveness of your sin. Your all the sins are forgiven through Jesus Christ by the blood of Jesus Christ. Two thousand twenty-four years ago. Why? Because Jesus Christ has died at the cross for you and me. Because Jesus Christ has taken your iniquities at the cross and died at the cross for you and me. This is the good news. Today I am sharing to each and every people, those who are working here. The people, those who are believing in Jesus Christ, is your Lord and Savior in your life. Bible saying, you are the new creation. New creation, what is new creation? A person who is living in this world. Living a sinful life. By knowing that Jesus Christ is the Lord in the life. I go to the Bible. Because of his faith in God, his trust in God as a Lord and Savior, accepting Jesus Christ in his life. Because of this reason, Bible says he is the new creation. You are the new creation. New creation that is your all the sinful life, all the wicked life, all the failure, all the things which is coming against your life. It was already made this kind of all your wicked life at the cross of Calvary and getting a spiritual, a new life, eternal life to each and every people through Christ Jesus. I'm preaching the gospel, the true gospel to each and every people. 
No matter what is the situation. No matter what is the circumstances. Bible saying, as many as you receive, that Jesus Christ, if you want to take it. I'll take it. As many as you receive, that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. Our God is given a right to power to become the children of God. Bible is given 100% guaranteed to each and every people to become a children of God in your life. Bible is saying the day that there is the moment when you believe that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior in your life. Bible is saying you are seated in the heaven. You all are the child of God. Praise the Lord. I am preaching the holy book. The Bible to each and every people. Come on next. Today I want to say one thing to each and every people, one good news. Jesus Christ can not only forgive your sins, but Jesus Christ can heal your sickness. Life healing. Our God was doing not only 2024 years before, but even today too. I am preaching the God that Jesus Christ is a living God. Two thousand seventeen, I born again and baptized. I myself can be know that Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior in the year of twenty thirty. I start the preacher's gospel. In the year of 2017, I'm preaching gospel. I'm You're born again in that day. This is Christ loves you. You want to pray? You want me to pray? You want me to pray for you? No, I'm not. If you have a prayer, I can pray for you. By the Lord, 2013 I born again baptized. In the year of 2017, I start to pray this goodness to each and every people. Even today, why I am preaching this gospel to each and every people? Because in my eyes, I could see when I pray for the sick people, many sick people are received the healing and delivered. Life healing happened in the name of Jesus Christ. When we read any of the book in this world, then these books cannot get eternal life, cannot forgive your sins. No one can guarantee your sins are forgiven by the people. But only one book, that is the Holy Bible, is giving 100% guarantee to each and every people to are able to forgive your sins and get eternal life. Come on in. Everybody, what's it? Come on in. So today, Bible is giving one good news to each and every people. 
the manifestation of Jesus Christ happened in this world because to destroy the work of the devil. God bless everybody. All kind of evil spirit work, it was already destroyed at the cross of Calvary by the blood of Jesus Christ. By the Lord, Bible saying Jesus Christ is a way, and Jesus Christ is a life, and Jesus Christ is a truth. I am preaching only true God, who is still alive in this world, and God resurrected on the third day. That is Jesus Christ, this God today in the city, I am declaring in front of everybody. By the Lord. Hallelujah. Gospel John chapter 14. Verses 1 Bible saying, Let not your heart be troubled, you believe in God. Only one solution the people, those who are living in this world. If you want to come out from your depression, anxiety, and all the troubles, there will be troubles. But our God can be able to help you. The nature of God is, Jesus Christ is the only one solution for that. The nature of God is, our God is a peaceful God. This God can be able to grant to each and every people a peaceful life, joyful life, eternal life, life everlasting to each and every people. I'm declaring this true gospel about the Bible. Bible is a true book. It is written Come on by the power of the Holy Spirit. 2024 years before. God bless you. Jesus Christ loves you. You born again on that day. the gospel in the city. Many people got saved, even today too. Many people received the healing. They all were the broken hearted people. But the day, the time, the moment, When they accept Jesus Christ is the Lord and Savior. Our God has given a new life to them. Joyful heart to them. Peaceful heart to each and every people. So today, I go to the Bible. I want to encourage to each and every people, the people are walking here. Jesus Christ can get a joyful heart to each and every people. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So everybody, all the people are walking here. Jesus Christ is a good God. And helping each and every people to come out from your wicked ways and to receive the eternal life and glory, everlasting life in your life. Jesus Christ is a miracle Lord. Jesus Christ is a merciful God. Jesus Christ is a Savior and Lord of Lord and King of Kings. I'm declaring this all these Bible words. I go to the Bible because the Bible is a truth. Pray for on. I want to pray for everybody. Those who are walking here. Those who are walking here. Come on. I want to pray for you. Every Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for each and every people. Especially the people walking here. 
and the people are here this morning. Holy Father, I pray for them. Thank you for your spreading this gospel to each and every people. Not only in the United Kingdom, but throughout the nations, through all I see. Father God, I pray for the revival from the city to the nations. Once again more, I pray in Jesus' name, I pray. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless everybody. How are you? I believe. I believe. Jesus Christ is my my Lord and Savior. Today, today, I surrender. My life to Jesus Christ. I repent my sin in Jesus' name. I pray. Amen. And the pastor can lay her heads. Every father, as the pastor blesses Thomas, those Thomas, I bless his brother spiritually, all the other brother life. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. I can pray. Come on. You know what you pray? I'm the pastor. I can pray for you. I'm the pastor. I can pray for you.